This is Duke University. Duke University professor Alan Johnson and his collaborators have developed the highest resolution magnetic resonance imaging, or MRI, technology available to create images of mouse brain sharp enough to detect subtle structural changes caused by genetic differences. What we've now been able to accomplish is spatial resolution nearly a hundred thousand times greater than that of a clinical MRI. Why would we be interested in doing this, you might ask? Well, it turns out that the mouse is a marvelous model, allowing us to connect changes in the gene to changes in the resulting structure. The scientists would call that connecting the phenotype, the structural changes, to the genotype, that is, the gene expression. I have an example here from a more recent publication. On the left, you see a control animal, and on the right, you see an animal that's missing a specific gene. What you're seeing before you is a slice through of the individual slices and now we're rendering, that is we're displaying that whole three-dimensional display with a specific focus on the ventricles which are the 3D blue structures you're seeing shown here and the caudate putamen which is being used for control. You can see on the right image that's now rotating in front of us that the ventricles are much much larger in this developmentally compromised animal. The animal's missing the relin protein, and as a consequence, there are structural changes that can be clearly identified. Johnson's work is part of the Mouse Bioinformatics Network, which aims to collect and share this technology so that mice can become substitutes for humans in studying connections between genes and brain structure. Produced by Duke University, online at duke.edu.